YouTube, it is me Chavez back with another prize picks video for you. Today's Saturday, February 20. I said that weird. Saturday Saturday. <laughs> Sat I got peanut butter in my mouth or something. Saturday, February 25th, 2023. Seven games on the NBA schedule. And um, as always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and just checking this video out, talking some player props over on prize picks. Before we get started on today's props, I want to quickly recap our picks from yesterday. Four for six from uh four for six in our six pick flex. So we only missed by uh Jared Allen's fantasy score. He did not play in that fourth quarter, from what I gathered, finished the game with 30.8 fantasy, which means he finished the third quarter with 30.8. Heading into the fourth quarter, I was very optimistic because based off his that production, he's giving you 10 fantasy points a quarter. So that looked real good going into the fourth quarter. And then uh, Singoon was our dark horse. Now, I'm a little confused with Singoon because he had all the opportunity in the world. No Jalen Green, no Kevin Porter Jr. And then it looked real good because Draymond Green gets ruled out for the Warriors. So, wow, I thought this is going to be a fantastic spot for Singoon to produce. But uh, he only played, he didn't play 30 minutes last game, in last night's game. Put up 22 PRA. Fantasy score was a little bit better, but not close to hitting. Yeah, so I'm not sure what the Rockets are doing with that uh, situation. It feels like they're just going to give everybody playing time down the stretch and kind of see what they got going into next season. They're already, think, they're already thinking about offseason acquisitions and trades and whatever. So, you know, Sengun's production is definitely going to take a hit, I think, moving forward. So maybe we can start looking at playing some of his unders, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, four uh, out of six hit were Trey Young. Over on his points, Zach Levine over PRA, gave Vincent under PRA, and then Lamella Ball over his seven and a half rebounds, and then uh, our two pick power of Zach Levine PRA and Trey Young points hit as well. All right, moving into today's game, I have um, I have a handful of props that I want to share with you. A few of them are coming from this Orlando Magic Indiana Pacers game, so why don't we just start there and let's start with Markel Fultz, our thumbnail for today's video and what I like about, uh, what I like for him today and why I like these specific props. All right, as we head on over to props.cash, we can pull up his assist. Uh, over the last five and 10 games, Markel Fultz is basically giving you six assists per game. Versus the Indiana Pacers back on January 25th, Markel Fultz also put up eight assists. So. One thing I like about this game environment for Markel Fultz and his teammates is this is a pace up game for the Orlando Magic. So currently you have the Indiana Pacers who play at the eighth fastest pace in the NBA, but you have the Orlando Magic playing at the 17th fastest pace in the NBA. So between these two teams, you're looking at a difference of 2.5 possessions, or excuse me, 2.3 possessions. In the NBA, that goes a long way. So I like Markel Fultz today over assist. I think he gets more opportunities to produce today. I also like Markel Fultz over his fantasy points now, over on props.cash. You can't pull up fantasy points, but one thing that stands out to me with Markel Fultz is his consistency uh, is, you know, is consistent. <laughs> his consistency is consistent. Uh, no, I'll give you a little bit more information than that. So he's he's putting up double digit points in his last five and ten games. Markel Fultz is giving you uh, between five, basically five rebounds a game when you do this average. Four plus six is ten, and in his assists, you saw he's giving you six. Steals and blocks also are a point of emphasis for Markel Fultz. He's giving you two across the board. Turnovers. A little higher than we want so let's say he does turn the ball over three times today versus indiana but gives you two blocks and steals that's still a plus three points that you can add to his score so take those three points you add them to the assist points so he gets you six assists that's nine plus six is 15 or excuse me nine plus 12 or excuse me, nine plus three is 12. and then you take his a rebound of five that's six that's 18 and then you take his Let's say he gets you 15 points. That's 33 fantasy points. We already accounted for his turnovers. His fantasy point total was 30 and a half. 
Sticking on the same team, I like Wendell Carter Jr. in a few different props. I like over on his, more on his points, points, rebounds, fantasy score. The same logic applies for Wendell Carter that applied for Markel Fultz. Pace up game opens up opportunities, opportunities to score for Wendell Carter Jr. Defensive efficiency for the Indiana Pacers is extremely poor. Their center defense is, I mean, it's well below average and they just give up a lot of production across the board. So we like his points. We can look at his points and rebounds since he will give you, he is capable of high rebound totals, 10 plus. So I like that as well. We can look at his PRA, but going over to his steals and blocks, he's giving you two a game versus the Indiana Pacers, which was played back in January, pretty recent game, and turnovers. So if we like his fantasy score, turn the ball over a lot versus Indiana though, five times versus Indiana. So, you know, in order for him to hit that fantasy total of 31 and a half, Wendell Carter Jr. needs to give us 17, 18 points, plus those rebounds, he gives you uh, nine rebounds, that's 11.2, that's 29, 29.2, and then his assist, another two, three, so that's 33 and a half, roughly. It's going to give you one block, that's 36, 36 and a half, minus his turnovers. Let's say he turns the ball over three times, that's 33. So, things look really good for these Orlando Magic players because they're in a pace-up game versus a very... Uh, bad defensive team in Indiana who will just give up production to anybody. So I like the way this looks for Wendell Carter Jr. and Markel Fall today versus the Indiana Pacers. Heading on over to Philadelphia where the 76ers are hosting the Boston Celtics. I like Jalen Brown today. Jalen Brown over points. Jalen Brown over three-pointers made. Head on over to props.cash. Pull up that Boston Philly game. Check out Jalen Brown's game log over his last 5-10 games. Now I believe this game against Philly is uh, the game he got hurt. Only played 17 minutes in that game. And that really brings down his totals and his averages over the last 10 games. If you take that game out for Jalen Brown, his points over his last 10 and five games would be so much better. But with that in there, he's still giving you 26 over his last 10, 25 over his last five, minus 140 odds to go over here. This could possibly get bumped up to 25 and a half. And so when you have a guy who plays well versus a specific team, look, he put up 35 in October. This just throws everything off this four point game when he didn't get to play the full game so if you like his points we got to look at where these points come from he's a shot creator he creates his own shot he creates his own space he's not afraid to take threes he took four in that game against them in october but over his last 10 games we can see that jalen brown oof here we go we can see that jalen brown is attempting in some games, 12, 11 shots from behind the arc, he's gonna give you at least seven from behind the arc. He's gonna hit three of them. That's what I like for Jalen Brown today. Sticking on uh, the Celtics side, I like Marcus Smart today to go under his fantasy, excuse me, under his points. I think he's more of a facilitator today. Now, he did go over this versus Indiana. That's an overtime game. And I'm going to look at this game a little differently. A little bit of a slower paced game for the Celtics, you know, looking at the pace of play for these two teams, you got Philadelphia playing at the pretty much the slowest pace in the NBA, averaging under 100 possession, under 100 possessions per game. And then you have this, uh, the Boston Celtics barely over 100. So I look for Marcus Smart to be more of a defensive, um, defensive have more of a defensive focus today, helping out on double teams, making sure Harden 
doesn't crush them and helping out with some uh, Embiid stuff as well. So I look for Marcus Smart to go under his points. I want to talk about one more game and identify a couple of props from this game before closing out this video. It's going to be uh, from the Denver side versus the Memphis Grizzlies. And I like Jokic in a few different places. Uh, I also like Michael Porter Jr. As well. So Jokic, let's start with this dude. <laughs> let's start with this guy. Jokic over points and rebounds, points and then fantasy production as well. Now, max out. Get out of there, Marcus Smart. Pulling up this last game versus the Grizzlies doesn't look good for Jokic. Keep in mind, this was a game played with Steven Adams in the lineup. Steven Adams will make things very difficult for opposing teams and centers. Without Steven Adams in this lineup, it's a different, it's a different defense. So even with Adams in the lineup, Jokic managed to still put up 13 boards and 13 assists, but his points were a little low. A lot of 13s in this game. 39 PRA for Jokic in that game. 39, 42, 45 fantasy points. 41 fantasy points for Jokic. A little low, but his points were aw awful that game. So this is a game environment for Jokic that I like a lot because of the pace up. You have the second fastest team in the NBA and then you have the Denver Nuggets who play at almost like that Boston Celtics pace. So more shot opportunities, more missed you know, shots for, for both teams, but that equals more rebounding opportunities, more assist opportunities for Jokic and Michael Porter Jr. So... I'm liking the over on Jokic's props today. And then Michael Porter Jr. going to benefit a lot from Aaron Gordon not being in the lineup again. It's possible that Murray sits, sits this one out. I'm hearing things, but I'm not seeing anything confirmed. Michael Porter Jr. is healthy. This is the healthiest he's going to be all year. And I think these props are, are areas that we can take the over on. I think he's just in a really good game environment, fast game environment. I think he's going to get all the shot attempts he can handle. These are the three props that I like for Michael Porter Jr. 17 and a half over points, five and a half rebounds, and then 24 and a half PR. Actually, was it his fantasy or PRA that I liked? Let's. So fantasy is not available. So I did like his. I, I am more interested in his fantasy points than his PRA. But for now, we can definitely go with points and rebounds here. So. That is what I'm liking from this Denver uh, Memphis Grizzlies game. There is one more play I'll quickly share with you that I like taking the over on, and it's going to be Brandon Ingram over his 24 and a half points. I don't know what else to say about this guy. He's very good at playing basketball. He um, is the best player on this team. And I mean, right now, this offense runs through Brandon Ingram and you could possibly be looking at a slight hangover for the Knicks who just played a very nice game versus the Wizards and Randall went off for like 80 damn points in that game. So coming into this game, maybe they're a little stale and flat to start the game off. However, Brandon Ingram has just been producing over his last 10 games, five games in terms of points. And I think this is this is production you just don't ignore anymore. And so I think his point total is a little low. I'm going to go over on this one. The game environment is healthy one for him. Maybe not so much in pace of play for Brandon Ingram, but just opportunity and shot volume alone. I like the prop here over on his points. And if you like the over on his points because he's a do-it-all kind of player, I like the over on his fantasy score as well. So that is going to do it for our player props today. That is what I'm liking, who I'm liking in terms of uh, in terms of uh, picks, power plays. I already have one power play in. I locked in that Jalen Brown over two and a half three pointers made and the Markel Fultz over 30 and a half uh, fantasy score. But let's go ahead and throw in. One six pick flex to end this video, and I'm gonna go back to the props that I just played. I'm gonna double down on faults, and I'm gonna double down on Jalen Brown. I'm gonna go over 
like we talked about with Jokic and his points and rebounds here. And then we talk a little bit about Brandon Ingram at the very end. I'm going to go over on Brandon Ingram's points of 24 and a half. And that takes us to four picks. One player that I didn't mention when looking at the Boston side or that Boston Philly game was Embiid. I like the over on his assist. And to end this, end this video, we're going to go fantasy score and we're going to take the over on that Wendell Carter Jr. Fantasy score. And we're going to run a six pick flex, throw $5 on it. We're just running all the overs here. And we're going to lock that one in. And there you go. So that's how we're going to end this video with a six pick flex to get us 125 if all hit. And hopefully they all hit. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for stopping by the channel, checking this video out. We covered quite a few, uh, quite a few player props today. Drop me a comment below letting me know who your props, uh, who your favorite props are today. Who do you have your eyes on? Who have you locked in already? Also, let me know what you think about my looks and observations into today's seven game slate. Do you like these props? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you want to leave them alone? Either way, let me know in the comments below. And uh, as always, thank you so much for all the support, the comments, the likes, the subs. Truly means a lot in helping this little channel grow a bit bigger every single day. And until tomorrow's final look NBA prop video, Chavez is out.